uh, anything new or exciting we ought to know about gear-wise uh, or anything? I, you, uh, you know, I'm trying to keep it as simple as possible. There you go. Love that. Uh, the, the SD7 sounds fantastic, just by itself as a, as a console, with nothing else plugged into it. Um, I've recently experimented with the Waves package with it, uh, which is uh, it's great. You can sound, you can hear all the plugins. The console right. sounds so good, you can hear the plugins. I don't need the plugins to make the console sound better. Okay. Right? Yeah. No, I, I get um, that. And um, but I'm very wary of how I use my plugins. I'm not. It, you know, it's very easy to get uh, the blinkers on and look at all the new stuff and the SSL compressors and all the vintage. I, 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 I got to use my ears to mix with. It. Well, so, isn't that the way it's supposed to be? Absolutely, yeah. But it's very easy to get. It, it really it's is. Really and I, and I, 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 I've been out on gigs and, and had guys show want to show me their EQ yeah. curve. It's like I don't care what it looks like. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, you know, fire it up. I want to hear what it sounds yeah. like. Exactly. You know, and I think exactly. sometimes with the, I think with the technology, and I think you're right on. We get away from. It's all about what it sounds like. Yeah. You know, it's uh, yeah. it's not about the, the flashing lights yeah, and, yeah. and the virtual buttons and yeah, yeah. how many things can we stick into this yeah. into this uh, and what I've noticed with, uh, with 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 shows I've heard mixed with a lot of waves plugins going on, the sound just becomes smaller yes. which is what everybody is used to now with mp3 yes it is right? that's what everyone and of course the younger engineers and no disrespect to them they're, they're doing a great job that's how they're mixing the sound. I'm more of a, I like the room to, to sing and you know stuff going. You know to make it, and it's more of it. I find it more exciting. I do too. Yeah. I do too. I, yeah. I find it more exciting because the, that little letterbox mix. It's not yeah, really, uh, it's not really a, a thing for me. Yeah, it's not to my taste either. No. But but uh, I don't know. Maybe call it a word of warning because the, the plugins are not going away. You know, no, 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 it's and, fine. And, that's the way it's going. That's the way it's I, going. I accept it and I embrace it. And, 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 and you know, more power to you because there's a lot of guys who don't. But you do have to balance that. And I don't think it's any different from, uh, you know, when you know the guy who has to have you know the five racks this tall mm -hmm. without more gear mm -hmm. um, on an analog console. You know, we really don't need it. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's, yeah. It, there, there, there's a uh, there's a comparison there. I'm not. I'm probably not being very eloquent about it. Being surprised. But you know, you know what? <laughs> Everyone builds their sound different. So I can only speak from my, my own opinion right. and my own experience of, of, of how I've uh, achieved what I achieve. Um, but you know, everybody. It's you know, I was talking to the, the, the system guy here, and uh, this PA system is great. It's a JBL uh, house rig. It's, it's, a, it's a Vertec rig and, and some DMB subs. Right. And um, you know, some heavyweight sound designers come in and tuned it. Yeah. And uh, well, Albert is, had a lot to do with it. Right. Before he did. Yeah. Right. And uh, I said to the system guy here, I said, Well, is he here mixing one five tonight? And they looked at me. Yeah. And, no. I said, well, I'm going to change the time delays to suit my taste of how I perceive the sound in here with what's coming off the sound coming off the stage. So as much as I respect the sound designers and they set up these rooms, it's like, oh, you can't touch them because they've set it up. Well, what have they set it up to? Exactly. You know? Yeah, that's really so, an interesting, yeah. that's, that's an interesting thought. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, every it's, it's different. I don't think there's any, there is a rule of thumb, a, a guidelines that are set for sound engineers. I don't think there's anything specific. Um, well, you know what? I have to take it with a pinch.